Hi, my name is Fred and I'm one of the chief bloggers here at Rots and Shots. Tonight I'm going to blog a little bit about um, something different. I know I'm in the middle of a concealed carry. Uh, it's probably going to be a several part series to the concealed carry uh, issue, but um, tonight I'm going to take a little bit of a break from that. Talk about NRA's 140th annual meeting here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, that will be happening April 29th through May 1st at the David L. Lawrence Convention Center. The website for it is www.nraam.org. And that's again www.nraam.org. Um, the NRA has always done a wonderful job. Last year in Charlotte, North Carolina, I was lucky enough to be present there with my family at the 139th annual meeting in Charlotte, and it was a lovely experience for all involved. Um, it's one of the biggest gun shows I've ever been to, just acres and acres and acres of ordnance. Um, so if you're like me and my family and you're into fondling ordnance, <laughs> There is just a veritable pantheon of ordnance there to be fondled. Uh, it also gives you a lot of chances to talk to industry representatives, give them feedback, discuss their products, discuss product ideas. Um, also, in some cases, gives you a chance to buy some product. Although um, firearms were not made available for purchase, they sure gave you more than an abundance of ideas on what firearms you'd like to purchase and have a chance to handle some of them in previewing them. Um, there's also other events, there's speakers, there's entertainment, uh, there's seminars to go to, there are um, <coughs> there's always plenty of food, a plethora of food and um, refreshments. Um, me and my family spent three or four days down there in North Carolina. The people were just overwhelmingly friendly in their welcome to the NRA members and a lot of businesses put out signs welcoming us to their businesses, welcoming uh, the fact that we conceal and carry and making it clear that firearms were welcome at their establishments. Um, here in Pittsburgh, I'm hoping that our business owners will do the same and make it clear to all the uh, convention goers that can still carry as welcome here. And in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, our conceal and carry laws are relatively um, user friendly, I might say. We have reciprocity with a lot of the states as well as um, Pennsylvania is an open carry state by definition, although I don't recommend open carry here. I would advise to do <coughs> more concealed carry than open carry because while we are an open carry state, um, the practice of open carry here is not uh, very common amongst people. So, <coughs> And we do have, at least around and in or near the convention site, excellent public transportation services. We have cab service. We have bus service. We have, um, you can walk to most of downtown Pittsburgh from the convention center. Most anywhere in downtown Pittsburgh you can walk to from the convention center. Uh, I am absolutely ecstatic to tell you that both me and my wife will be volunteering at this year's annual meeting. Um, as far as I'm aware, I will be working at the NRA store. My wife will be working at member services. And that was confirmed this evening that my wife will be working at member services. I'm waiting for my confirmation uh, from Dennis Agers, uh, the volunteer coordinator, to confirm that I'll be working at the NRA store this year. Like I said, the NRA is a wonderful, wonderful organization. Um, 
And as I think I've made clear before in our blogs, me, my wife, and my children are all NRA life members. And um, while at the convention, we could not feel more at ease or more like we were among a very, very large family. It's a very, very family-friendly, very, very family-orientated atmosphere to be in. Uh, like I said, some of the highlights were the firearms exhibit, exposition and exposition, sorry, firearms exposition, and as well as the speakers like Ted Nugent, um, Chris Cox, Wayne Lapierre, Sarah Palin, um, some very, very notable folks were there. Uh, so the entertainment was first rate. So, I hope to see one and all of you there at the 140th annual meeting in Pittsburgh. Uh, please feel free to stop by the NRA store while I'm working. Say hi to me. Um, you know, let me know how you like Rots and Shots blog. And or stop by member services. Say hello to my wife, Julia, and let her know how you feel about Rots and Shots blog. You all have a great evening now, and I hope to see you in Pittsburgh real soon. Take care.